So there are two aspects of supervision uh, of cyber uh, from the PRA's perspective. One is the ability of insurers to protect themselves against uh, cyber risk. And then the other is provision of cyber insurance or insurance against cyber risks of third party firms or others. Uh, so talking first about protection against cyber risk, uh, in looking most broadly, this can arise in two ways. What, one is mal malicious attack from, out, from the outside. Um, probably that's the one that's most familiar at the moment. But actually, we also have to think about uh, just simple operational failure uh, that can equally cause uh, breakdown of firm systems, uh, inability to provide critical services, disruption to those services, or, or corruption uh, of customer data, which, which, which can be in some ways even worse. Uh, so focusing particularly on malicious attack, clearly the risks there have increased, as have the awareness. Um, a lot of the, te the attention, I guess, has been on the banking side uh, from our perspective. We're both a banking and insurance regulator. Uh, but I think insurers are e equally attractive targets for uh, th those looking to mount cyber attacks because they have such uh, large amounts of personal data. Uh, you think particularly, for example, of health insurers. Uh, so what do we expect from firms? Uh, well, we expect uh, an, an ability to uh, ha have defences, uh, against cyber attack, to be able to detect attacks, to have a proper management framework, uh, to be able to respond and to be able to recover. Uh, and the key thing, a, a key thing is that that's owned at the top of the firm. So you have to have uh, appropriate policies at board level uh, that then set a structure uh, for the whole firm. And one thing I should stress is that cyber is not just an IT issue. Cyber has to be uh, owned as a, as a management issue uh, across the entire firm. Uh, so talking about our supervision approach, it's been more of a supervision approach than a regulatory approach, I would say, uh, so far. Uh, our approach comes in a number of different stages. Uh, the first stage we've begun to learn, we've begun to use, uh, is, is a questionnaire. Uh, and that's just to uh, assess in a structured way uh, how much, how, how a firm thinks about cyber risk, how it manages it, uh, what, what its uh, response framework is. Um, and we use that uh, questionnaire to make an assessment of what follow-up is needed from a supervision perspective uh, may include deep dives in particular areas. Uh, and, and particularly where, uh, for, for large firms, which uh, we regard as critical uh, to the financial system, uh, we, we, we have followed up uh, with uh, actual uh, assessment by ourselves of their ability to cope uh, with cyber attack. Um, and that uh, comprises two elements. One, uh, working with the firm to understand how, what its view of the intelligence is. So where is the attack uh, likely to come from? Uh, and then actually using uh, third parties who are able to simulate a cyber attack on the firm to see if they can penetrate the firm's defenses. Um, and uh, then we then provide feedback to the firm on what that, what that penetration attack uh, 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 fines, and we've now used that across a number of uh, our firms in the UK.